In our Health Watch report, Local 3's Connie Fellman speaks with one Wisconsin couple on their thoughts of talking with others who are going through the same thing they are, life after stroke. Community Stroke Day, held earlier this month at the Automobile Gallery of Green Bay, is a time for stroke survivors and their families to come together in support and camaraderie with others who are living life after a stroke. We caught up with Luxembourg's Jim and Denise Maroc after they attended their first Community Stroke Day. Jim Maroc's got one beautiful view of Lake Michigan and a comfy spot to sit and enjoy it. But that doesn't mean this stroke survivor spends much time just sitting around. maroc has got too much work to do. And he was so determined and everything they asked him to do, he did to the best of his ability. My name is Jim Maroc. He walks now and he can go up and down steps. You yeah. know, he sees yeah. a personal trainer once a, once a week. Maroc also works with Karen Floriano Heimerl a speech and language pathologist at Aurora Baker Medical Center. When I first met Jim, he had very few words. I have aphasia. If you think of like a computer program, it's like there's a, a glitch in it and that program can't run. Even though Jim is thinking the whole time about what he wants to say and he knows what he wants to say, um, but can't, can't produce it. Still dedicated to his recovery, Maroc's made tremendous progress, both in speech and mobility. When he got home, he used a wheelchair for one, um, one week, and he was, week. <laughs> he was done with that. That's it. So much so that he and his wife, Denise, felt comfortable attending Community Stroke Day, held this year at the Automobile Gallery in Green Bay. What was so great about it is everybody there is in the same boat. Five area hospitals, including Aurora Bay Care, collaborate to hold Community Stroke Day each year. The gathering provides the kind of support only those who've been through it can offer. I think the support is, is tremendous. So we have an opportunity for the care partners to go and talk by themselves as a group. Um, and then the stroke survivors speak as a group. So they, they each have the opportunity to talk about struggles and questions and also um, triumphs, you know, that yeah. they've experienced. Floriano Heimerl says that kind of support is key to stroke recovery. But you can't go through it alone as a stroke survivor or a care partner. You have to have, you have to have a support system. I think that's, that's a necessity. As for Maroc, he attributes his progress to attitude. He made the comment one time to me, um, Denise, in every situation we can be bitter or we can be better. better. And he said, if we choose better, every day goes better. And never giving up. Hope. Yeah. yeah. Hope. Maroc's next goal, he wants to get back to driving, which if you caught the way he's checking out that Ferrari, isn't surprising at all. If you'd like to find out your risk for having a stroke, go to aurorabaycare.com slash assessments to take an online stroke assessment. And that's your Health Watch. I'm Connie Fellman, Local 3 News.